All right, so um, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is, uh, is Biden's VP. I mean, I don't think anybody's shocked by that, given that Biden has said he would pick a woman, and then he said he would pick a back woman. Although, I, I don't know if you noticed, but the last few days, he was, um, uh, you know, toying with the idea of picking the governor of Michigan, who's not black. And, uh, oh, my God, the, the storm. I mean, I guess that was one of those trial balloons that got knocked out of the air very, very quickly. So he, he reverted back to the choice he really didn't want to make. I don't think he wants Kamala Harris as his VP, but it's the obvious choice once you put yourself in the corner of having to pick a black woman, then who do you, you know, she is probably the best of the lot. Um, I, I'm really glad he didn't pick, um, what's her name, Karen Bass, who uh, is a real socialist and, a, and a, uh, an admirer of uh, Castro. Uh, many of the other candidates were, were way to the left of Biden, way to the left of Kamala Harris, and, and uh, so he picked a relative, everything's relative these days, a relative for the, for the modern Democratic Party, a relative centrist, uh, a woman who the progressives kind of hate because she was tough on crime, supposedly, in California when she was attorney general in California. Um, and, and, and somebody who's super ambitious, super ambitious, and who actually so ambitious that she actually slept away into politics. I mean, I don't know if you guys know the story, but I, I believe this is a true story because it comes from Willie Brown. Willie Brown wouldn't lie about stuff like this. I don't know if you know Willie Brown. Uh, maybe you don't. If you ever lived in California, maybe you're not aware of Willie Brown. But Willie Brown is one of the more colorful uh, politicians in um, the state of California. He was for many, many, many years the uh, Speaker of the House of uh, uh, the State House in California. Uh, he then uh, was termed out when they had term limits in California. California, by the way, is proof, I think should be definitive proof, forever. The term limits don't work because California instituted term limits, I don't know, almost 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 16 years ago, and it's a bigger gas basket case since then than it was before. It's made no difference, zero difference how awful politics are in California. So to anybody who's advocating for term limits is a solution for anything. Go study California and you'll see it never happened. Anyway, Slick Willie Brown always wore these unbelievably expensive, tailored, colorful suits. Um, a, a man who entered politics penniless and is, is, is an incredibly wealthy, wealthy guy. Anyway, uh, uh, um, when Willie Brown, so he was mayor of San Francisco, and now he's retired, I guess. But when Willie Brown was uh, Speaker of the House, um, he was married at the time. But he, he was known to have, I guess, what you'd call an open marriage. And he would often appear at parties and other places with his wife and his girlfriend. And, um, you know, I don't know the details. This is, you know, but, but there was something going on there where he was sleeping with a variety of different women while being married, and nobody seemed to care, at least of all, it seems, his wife. And um, Carmela Harris, when she started, entered, when she wanted to enter uh, politics in California as a young woman, uh, the way she entered politics in California was by sleeping with Willie Brown. And this is not a secret. Willie Brown actually wrote an editorial for the San Francisco Chronicle detailing this. So he told the story. And in exchange for sleeping with him, he basically appointed her to some commissions, which were basically her beginning into uh, politics. Uh, Kamala Harris, I, I think, I, and I know I'm going to get massive backlash on saying this. I know, I know it's coming because you can't say this kind of stuff on anybody on the left. But I think she's smart. Uh, but she's a power luster. She wants power. That's all she really cares about. She's not an ideologue. She doesn't have a commitment to any set of ideas. She's on the left, but she could be anywhere as long as she believed it would give her power. Um, you know, she has clawed herself up to where she is today. Uh, and again, this whole sleeping with Willie Brown, Willie Brown told the story. I wouldn't have suspected it, but that's who she is. Uh, she is, um, somebody says she's like Hillary. I, yeah, maybe, maybe this, uh, she didn't marry her way to that power. She wasn't the woman behind the man. She was always being the woman in front and, and, and leading the charge. 
Uh, maybe you have a younger generation, Hillary Clinton. Uh, but she is um, she's definitely a, a non-ideologue, which is good, I think, because any kind of ideology on the left is going to be horrific. She's a pragmatist. She wants to, she wants to be president one day. Uh, she'll do what she needs to do to appease the, the progressive wing of the Democratic Party. And, but she'll govern, I think, she'll, a tendency will be to govern from the uh, center left, uh, you know, left, but, but more towards the center. Now, the center's moved way to the left. So the cent there is no, you know, the center today is not the center where it was 20 years ago. The center's way to the left of where it was, but she'll, move, she'll govern from there um, if she gets into that position. And I think she has a good chance of getting in that position because if Biden drops dead, given that he's 77, and if he gets elected, um, if he gets elected, he is unlikely... Uh, he's, you know, there's a good probability that he doesn't make it. Um, what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want, to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>